Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss a new video or a live stream and give me a big thumbs up at the end of the video. Hey everyone and welcome to Her Lovely Plan. Welcome back to everyone that has been following me um, on this channel and welcome to my new subscribers now today is the first day that i am going to do a plan with me in my traveler's notebook um, as most of you know um, with all of my subscribers that have been with me i've been using a mini happy planner for all of 2018 well for 2019 this is my main thing this is my edc which is my everyday carrier um everyday carry um i am using standard size inserts but the actual t and cover is a kaye i believe i'm pronouncing that right it's a kaye cover which is a little bit wider and taller than an actual standard size cover everyone knows that this t n is baby and like i said she's gonna go with me everywhere so I'll probably be referring to her as baby a lot, not my traveler's notebook, but I do want to show you my setup for the month of January. Um, January is a new year as well as my birthday month. So I wanted my TN to reflect my birthday. Um, so if you want to see the setup before we get into the plan with me, keep watching. Okay. So just to show you some, um, things before I get into that I'm into showing you my setup um, these are some charms that I was gifted at a recent event that I hosted um, and this is a charm bookmark it is so cute and then on my side I have some charms um, some of them are from Villa Beautiful and some others are from Mini Rose Co and then on my top game or top view, which is this top part of my travels notebook, I have actual bookmarks. Um, I opted out from doing clips this month just because I want to kind of get used to um, working in my travels notebook. So let's go ahead and look at the setup. So as in all travelers notebooks, you always have your die cuts and things over here. So I just put some cute little girl die cuts this is the official mascot for baby so whether i am in this cover or another cover this little cute will always be here so this is my monthly um, view and as you can see i have some a whole lot going on here um so this sticker actually came from gold mine and coco she had a birthday new year's kit um and i had to have it especially since it was my birthday um, so just to kind of explain what I've done, um, these are reusable dashboard covers that I created myself and I will leave a link at the top um, so you can see the video on how I made these. Um, and then what I did was I just cut out some cardstock in different colors and I um, just glued down um, like the little dolly and this is an actual another piece of cardstock where you see the gold flowers and then i just added stickers from the various sticker books now the inside i didn't go too far over the top because i didn't want to have too much going on but again i did use a birthday sticker some more doc um card stock the other doily just so i can have a little bit of hang time or some pop some top game <laughs> showing in my planner and then i used some washi from Simply, um, Simply Gilded and a glitter sticker. And this is some vellum that came from the jewel box and this was gifted to me along with some acetate. And this is a cover that I made again for my monthly view. And I just kind of put some scraps in here just to kind of decorate it. And I put that sticker there. So this is my bookmark. And then since it's my monthly, I just kind of keep some random stickers in this section. And this is the back, the inside of the back. And then this is the back with a happy birthday. And this came from Villa Beautiful. Again, this is another Villa Beautiful journaling card. And this is the washi. And this came out of her Celebrate kit from um, December. And this bow um, was on a journaling card. And I just kind of cut it off. And this starts the beginning of my weekly inserts. 
So again, more Villa Beautiful washi and stickers, some vellum, and another cover that I made to go on top of that. And this is a die cut that I got from Elaine Michelle Studios. And again, as I told y'all, this is kind of similar to the mini planner. So I'll still be sticking to my typical plan with me's. And this just is the inside of the back cover with some more die cuts. And this pin loop came from Villa Beautiful. And then I just add the sticker there. And then another journaling card with some glitter stickers and some Simply Gilded washing. So this next section, this is my um, insert where I will be um, tracking my fitness. And um, because I'm tracking my fitness, fitness, I wanted to remind myself that I am beautiful. So I used the You Are Beautiful sticker with some um, washi stickers that came out of one of the Happy Planner sticker books. This is actually some card stock that came from the jewel box um, that I cut and shaped out and lined it with some um, Villa Beautiful washi. And I just kind of carried over the washi on the other side along with um, some leftover acetate that I glued down to the um, cardstock. So as you can see, these are all removable. And I do this just because, you know, I want to be able to switch it up and I might not want to use actual, uh, you know, create an actual cover for the insert or permanent color cover so this is like an easy way to make some new colors and keep them protected with the plastic so here's some more acetate and this is a piece of vellum and this is just what my insert looks like for my um, workouts and the first two inserts came from um, the paper penguin no yeah the paper penguin um, this one came from I want to say I always get it wrong 104 i mean 1407 planners I'm glad it was right here because i always mess it up um and i really like this i really feel like this is going to be really really nice um for tracking my fitness so this is the inside of the back cover and a goal is a dream with a deadline and my goal is to lose a certain amount of mid weight and i am going to stick to my deadline and then i added just some extra um acetate scraps with some washing and then this is the back where I just put some washi and a happy birthday sticker with these two bows. So this is just, um, this right here is a part of a two-sided um, pocket. It has a, a zip, zipper pocket. And I just put a sticky notepad here and some cardstock just to kind of hide this side of the um, insert. This is typically where you would put business cards or something like that, but I thought it would be cute to add more die cuts with some backing. So this is my last insert. I have four inserts, and this is a four-string um, traveler's notebook, um, but this is my to-do list brain dump section. And I use the Simply Gilded journaling card, as you can see, with layers of washi that I just bought around the back and put this adorable doll sticker that came from Le Cinq Oats. And here's more acetate, and this is just a dot grid, in which I will probably just be using sticky notes that I will keep in here. And this is a removable um, bookmark, again, that was gifted to me. So this is the inside of the back cover of my last insert, and I just was kind of testing out the whole washi um, dashboard look and that's that so this is the back side of the zipper pocket where I keep the rest of my sticky note pads and this is just some little other things that I need and I figure it's good to keep it in the back because you really won't see it and I have my VB pen my zebra pen and my ink joy pen so this is my setup and I'm really enjoying this um, she is chunky and I love it um yeah so this is my setup so let's go ahead and get straight into the plan with me for the week of december the 30th through january i don't even know the date <laughs> uh this will actually be december 31st through january the 6th so let's go ahead and jump right into this plan with me 
pretty much self-explanatory. But I wanted to um, share this tip that I learned while I was kind of testing out my Traveler's Notebook. Take the inserts out when you're planning, especially if you have a chunky Traveler's Notebook like I do. Um, it makes planning much easier. Um, and then also another tip, um, I have a four string Traveler's Notebook, so I can put four Traveler's Notebook inserts in there easily. Um, I tried jump banding, but the thing with jump banding is if you're taking your inserts out, it makes it difficult. So try to, um, the inserts that you are gonna take out on a regular basis, try not to jump band them. It'll make planning easier. Um, and as you saw, I just used my corner rounder um, at the top of the washi just because this insert has round corners and I wanted my washi to lay seamlessly at the top of my page. So I want to go ahead and apologize now because what I realized during the editing process that when I was applying my stickers and washing and things like that at the bottom of the insert, it was out of frame. Nevertheless, you will see the full, beautiful layout at the end of the video. So again, 
I apologize. Charge it to my head, not my heart. So you guys, I am super excited about this journey um, in planning in a traveler's notebook. And I hope you all are just as excited as I am. I know most of you are used to me using just strictly happy planner products, especially my mini plan with me's. But I really feel like that you all will um, just be as excited as I am just to see how I plan in my traveler's notebook for 2019. Um, I feel like it's speaking to the crafter inside of me that I didn't know was there because um, this Travels Notebook has been pulling me, making me real creative, and I am enjoying it so far. So I hope y'all enjoy this plan with me as well as future ones. Um, 2019 is going to be a great year for each and every one of us, um, and it's all about supporting and inspiring each other. So keep watching to see how this turns out. Okay, you guys, so I am finished my very first spread in my traveler's notebook. Um, and just to remind you, um, my inserts are standard size in which I keep baby, which are my inserts, <laughs> stuffed inside a cahier or cahier. I'll figure out the right way to say it. Um, I keep it in a cahier um, traveler's notebook just because I keep my traveler's notebook chunky I don't want a lot of overhang or my edges peeking out so that's why I don't use the actual standard size travels notebook but anyway um, I'm very pleased 
that I did stick with just one sticker book and the sticker book that I used came from the Villa Beautiful's December box which was Celebrate and I'll leave the link up the top just so you can see my unboxing video. Um, her kits are amazing and there are no subscriptions. So anyway, so everything came out of that kit except for um, a couple of things. Um, this New Year's sticker, um, which was a clear um, silvery sticker, um, these bows, and yeah, and these bows came from Scribble Print Co. And then of course, you know the infamous um, Simply Gilded Washi. Um, I thought it would make a good match for these bows. Um, even though the, these bows came out of the Villa Beautiful kit, it still matches. But anyway, so this is very sparkly. Just look at it. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. And I'm not going to go on and on because, like I said, I gave all the details throughout the video. Um, I was a little nervous, but anytime you try something new, there always are a little nerves um, that you have. Um, but I am really pleased with this. Um, you still see my layering in there. I didn't abandon my layering technique. Um, and like I said, I want to really get into using more washi in my travels notebook um, because I have a lot of washi. And 2019 is the year of no more hoarding. That's the word or the phrase of the day. No more hoarding. So, um, yeah, this is it. You guys, I, I like it. And I can't wait to see how I progress. Um, I am adding another Traveler's Notebook to the lineup. Um, and I'm excited about that. Um, if you all follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen some little sneaks of some things that I've been creating um, for my Traveler's Notebook. Um, but I will explain why I'm adding that into the lineup once I reveal her true identity because you know I'm gonna give her a name <laughs> but yeah so I'm really excited I'm excited to see how this works out I still have plenty of white space um, this is not just decorative it is very functional um, I don't have a lot of things that I have planned for the week of December 31st through January the 6th but that's why I left white space so I can go in and fill out day by day. I do plan on doing um, after the pins um, just so you all can see how I'm using this. I will try different um, spreads um, because I am trying to kind of, you know, watch some other videos, see how they're doing their setups. Now, I do know that this particular layout isn't a traditional layout that I've been seeing throughout the Travels Notebooks com community. Um, so I'm really excited about seeing how I add to the Travels Notebook community with my special skills. <laughs> but yeah, so anyway, I'm not gonna talk your head off because I know this video has been kind of long, um, but I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you all continue to rock with me while I'm using my Travels Notebook instead of a mini planner for 2019. And let's just take this journey together. So if you like this, give me a big old thumbs up and drop me a comment below as well. When you're dropping the comment, make sure you check the description box because I have plenty of discount codes, um, a link to my Amazon shop, and as well as some other little items that may be helpful for you in your planning. Um, so if you haven't done so, make sure you subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell, so you never, ever, 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 ever miss a live, vi a live stream that I do on Sundays, as well as a new video. So can you tell I'm nervous? <laughs> I don't know why. But anyway, if this has inspired you, make sure you share this with your planner friends so they can also be inspired to create their own lovely plan. So until next time, planner fam, peace. Thank you again for watching Her Lovely Plan, and I hope that you click that subscribe button and that notification bell.